here. Okay. Today, as we finish out our nervous system week, I, today and tomorrow, uh, today I want to focus on tracking your nervous system. Now, like I said, um, I do a lot more in depth on understanding your specific nervous system states and how to identify them and, you know, um, a, a deeper dive into what each state is and what it looks like. Um, we, we just don't have the capacity for that in this kind of framework, the Healthy for the Holiday series. Um, but I do do a lot of that teaching in all of my programs. So um, in the shift program and in my one-on-one -on -one programs, which you are welcome to reach out to me about. For today, what I want to offer you is the opportunity to anticipate over the holidays. So we're in December 1 and anticipate over the holidays from now until the end of the year. I want you to start to think about, think ahead about things that will be what are called triggers and glimmers. Um, and triggers are exactly what they sound like, right? There's something that triggers you into a uncomfortable or some level of discomfort feeling, right? So um, this can be anything. And, and in fact, I want you to uh, take it with a broad stroke and look at time with family, um, you know, pressure for gifts or celebrations, um, pressure to say no to the holiday cookies that are in the break room, uh, just a feeling of um, uh, unrest as you move towards the end of the year, whatever it is, right? I want you to, with a broad stroke, say, what can I anticipate as possible triggers uh, as we go through the holiday season? Now, this isn't so that you... Um, start to think about all the bad things that could happen or, you know, uh, all of the things that'll push me off course. We're not trying to bring that into your energy. We're just trying to be intentional with our awareness and be um, aware of and more mindful of what gets in the way. What are the roadblocks? What are the um, possible situations, people, or scenarios that dysregulate us in this season, rather than just reacting to every situation that comes our way, we want to be intentional with awareness. Oh yeah. I know that every time, you know, I go to this holiday party, I feel kind of dysregulated. I think I get nervous or, um, you know, worried about how I am going to appear or whatever, and just become aware of each situation. So I want you to start to bring awareness to your possible triggers this holiday season. And then I want you to spend just as much, if not more, energy looking at what we call your glimmers. In other words, what is there to celebrate? What feels good? Because the dichotomy of the holiday season is that we both have these opportunities of love and connection and warmth and nostalgia and, you know, the passage of time that feels good. And we have, you know, history and, and um, uh, stressors and family dynamics and, you know, pressures and whatever, they're happening at the same time. And sometimes we don't feel like we can hold that dichotomy, that it has to be one or the other. But in truth, they can happen at the same time. It's okay to both have things that we're incredibly grateful and things that are triggering us at the same time. Now, they don't happen in the exact same moment, but in the same environment, we can have those things happening, okay? So your invitation, there's an opportunity to start to anticipate the things that trigger you and the things that you feel grateful for this holiday season. Now, why are we doing this? Again, so that you can bring awareness and connection to how you act, what you think, how you feel. And instead of it just being a um, habitual reactionary process. Like this is just what I do every year. And this is just how I act around grandma. And, oh, I know that this is going to happen. When we start to bring curiosity and awareness and mindfulness to the situation, then we have the opportunity to behave differently. But while it stays unconscious and just stays a pattern and just stays reactionary, then we don't have the opportunity to work with it. So that is the offering is for, um, <clears throat> for you to spend just a moment or two looking at your triggers and glimmers this holiday season. So just write it down on a piece of paper, two columns, one is triggers, 
One is Glimmer's. Um, I might be able to whip up a quick PDF for you. If so, I'll pop it in the um I'll pop it in the Facebook group, in the Mighty Network group, on the YouTube channel, so you can have it and download it, okay? Um, writing down what your triggers and glimmers are on the holiday season so that you are aware and you are more mindful and you can anticipate those situations so that you have the opportunity to react differently, okay? So we're bringing awareness and mindfulness to the process. Hope that was helpful today. We will wrap up your nervous system tomorrow. I'll kind of put it all together tomorrow. And then next week we will start out on habits. Um, lots to say about habits uh, and how you can be more attentive to those and learn some habit stacking and some tools and tricks, tricks and things like that for the holiday season that starts next week. All right, everybody. I'll see you same time, same place tomorrow.